So, should we send tanks to Ukraine? <coughs> um, but I, I don't my answer to that question is, is, is no, we shouldn't. What we should be doing, we should be doing whatever we can to actually um, seek a ceasefire and some kind of peace settlement. Um, uh, you know, if it hadn't been for uh, Western military support for Ukraine, this war would have been over months ago and hundreds of thousands of people's lives uh, were, were, would, would have been saved. I think you have to place this, uh, this recent British decision in the context of uh, decisions by other Western governments, the American Americans, the Germans, the French, are also saying they're going to send tanks and arm, armored cars uh, to, to, to to Ukraine. Now, I, I don't know whether the Brits will beat the Americans, the French and Germans to it and the challengers will uh, arrive in Ukraine before theirs or whether they'll arrive too. But what I do know is that, uh, is, is that the Russians have destroyed thousands of Ukrainian tanks and armored cars and I've no doubt whatsoever they'll do the same for these challenger tanks and any other equipment uh, the West sends in, 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 into Ukraine. Um, this this sending tanks, armored cars is going to do nothing whatsoever to change the strategic situation on the ground in Ukraine. Yeah, I mean, actually, to be honest with you, I'm wondering whether or not it could make it quite a lot worse, because if it angers Putin at <coughs> all, now they can legitimately say, well, this is a whopping great big escalation. If Putin has gone a bit yeah. mad and all of this stuff, I mean, it could it could escalate the whole thing, couldn't it? I, I, I think, it, yeah, it... it... I don't think it's a dangerous move in itself because what's being proposed is to send a very limited amount of Western military equipment, which will probably take months to actually re reach the, the, the front line and won't make much much a difference to the outcome of the various battles that go, going on anyway. What worries me about it is what the West is going to do next. You know, there's a lot of talk about um, supplying. Uh, you know, uh, Ukraine with long range missiles, which can uh, hit, the, hit the Russian uh, mainland. Are we going to see Western technicians on the ground? Well, this Ukraine? is the other thing I was going to say. This, this, is, this is exactly the other thing that I was going to say, which is okay, the tanks go there, and then all of a sudden, as you've said, then it's oh, it's Western technicians that need to be on the ground, or people need to teach. And then well, it is boots on the ground, isn't it? We are edging closer and closer towards. Yeah. Parts of, well, the West, I suppose, maybe just openly being at war yeah. with Russia, aren't we? I, I uh, yeah, I, 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 yes, broadly, I think you're right. I mean, that, that's what worries me about this, uh, is, is this latest issue, not what impact they're actually going to have militarily, but their impact psychologically, yeah? Um, because you know, throughout this whole war, um, there's been a pattern of um, the escalation of, of uh, Western military aid uh, to, to, to Ukraine. Now, there are some people who argue, some very hawkish elements of this, who argue, well, the West can do what it wants because Putin has no red lines and, you know, whatever he might say, he's not going to respond in any overly cooperative way uh, to what we do. No, no, I think that's completely wrong. Yeah, now, Challenger tanks, I think people were probably a bit sick of every now and again, every two minutes, you know, we'd have, we could have a catastrophic crisis in this country. It, there's every chance that at that moment in time, our Prime Minister happens to be in Kiev meeting Zelensky, doesn't there? It seems to be the, quite literally the get out of jail card. Every single time there was some issue here, where is he? Where's he gone? Oh, he's in Ukraine. And I think the British public were a little bit sick and tired of this open check. There you go, Volodymyr, have a bit of that. But tanks, we look at it now and we just don't see just random sums of money being sent there. It's actual yeah, tanks. I wonder that, whether or not that's, this that's makes it more palatable to That's the important... That's the important point you just made there. I mean, it, it, this this decision about the Challenger tanks and the other West decision is not so much a military move or a military escalation. Mm. It's about politics. It's about yeah. Western politicians saving the phrase because the tide of the war in Ukraine has turned in Russia's favour. Western decision makers see on the horizon, or maybe not on the horizon, maybe in in the relatively near future, the possibility of a Putin victory in Ukraine. And you know, and Western political leaders don't want to be left in a position where the finger can be pointed in the sense and said, oh, you didn't do enough to Ukraine. Why didn't you send your tanks? Why didn't you send your, your arms? Cut? So and I think this is a very, very effort. political move. Ten a token tanks. effort. But, Ten but, tanks. but as you said, but as, yeah. but, but as you said, it's it's dangerous in terms of the potential for future uh, escalation. It, you know, it's, it's not this move that worries me. It's what the West might might do next. So, so actually, in a way, look, the, the whole thing about this Ukraine war, which is why you know, from the very beginning mm. I've been arguing that we need to stop it, is this danger of, uh, of, of escalation, escalation into an all-out war between uh, nations. Absolutely. Wars. And I'm, I'm inclined to say that actually the most da dangerous period of the of the escalation is actually coming, coming, coming now.
I mean, I the war in Ukraine is is uh, is coming to some kind of conclusion militarily, then so the danger of some kind of existential escalation of conflict is presenting itself. So very yeah, very Jeffrey, dangerous. I agree. I, I, very, I, very, I, very very reckless decision, but by the by the British government if they do go ahead with this challenging decision.